That's not easy to answer, I think. Uh, there are a lot of new developments for chronic rhinosinusitis sinusitis with nasal polyps, but for without nasal polyps, we, we really struggle. Of course, we have surgery, which can be very effective treatment. And we tried um, all other sorts of treatment, but as well, local corticosteroids as long-term antibiotics have, uh, if they have an effect, the effect is rather limited. So at the moment, we're really uh, in the dark a little bit how to help these patients uh, in a better way than doing surgery. And we, we are in real need of new developments in that area. Our understanding of chronic sinusitis without nasal polyposis is more limited than that with nasal polyposis, but certainly we're beginning to understand and suspect that this is more of a barrier disorder, a dysfunction of the mucosal lining. So agents that target inflammation, which causes retardation of normal mucosal healing, or even agents coming from other areas, such as wound healing, that promote healing in the sinuses, will probably seem to be of benefit. An immediate example that we have in our practice is macrolides that we use for patients who failed sinus surgery, and that this is felt to improve the regeneration of the sinus mucosa and allow patients to find a normal epithelium which is more robust and more capable of repressing infection. I think that group of patients is probably the most difficult group. Um, we've certainly looked at the treatment using antibiotics over long periods of time, and uh, in particular macrolide antibiotics. Um, it's been shown that patients who have normal or low IgE levels are probably the ones that do best. Um, and it may be that that's the subpopulation that we have to look at and better define our patients by a variety of biological markers to see if they will be the ones that will do well. Having said that, the studies on macrolides are somewhat, uh, what should we say, um, they're not entirely clear. And uh, in fact, we have just been awarded a very large grant in the UK to try and look at this population definition for the use of macrolides. Set against that, of course, are concerns about the use of macrolides themselves with the recent reports of an increase in cardiac events. So um, there isn't a, a perfect uh, solution at the moment. Um, people have looked at adding things to the douching uh, solutions that we use. There may be a scope there, and obviously the delivery of topical medication to the sites after surgery is a whole new area of development.